I know you said you're a bit frustrated, but a big sign now, just like, thank God. Go on, Kudo, lad. Kudo just <laughs> put me in the semis, I think, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, that just makes that win ten times better, doesn't it? I mean, you come in here unknown, now look at him. Fucking everyone was like, oh, Brendan should have won that. Like, like, look how good the guys are in this tournament, mm. man. Like, are you underestimating the PFL level? We've got a guy here who's coming from Bosnia or wherever he came from. It's, he fought the fight of his life. The guy's a lightweight. He's fucking massive, strong, awkward. Took me around to get used to him. By then, my eye had blown up. Once I found my groove, I was a bit better, but, you know, I still need to be better. And unless, there's no two ways about it. If I want to win this tournament, when that, if that was Bubber in there, Wade, any of these other guys, I need to be better. But I will be better. So, you know, London, here we come. You were saying about that letting your hands go straight away, even though you had four lines in the second round, you came away like straight out of you know, blazing. What was it in that first round that you feel like you couldn't just get your shots off and he was that kind of first punches? Extremely awkward, mate. What the fuck was he doing? <laughs> what the fuck was that guy doing, bro? Like, uh, uh, spinning around. <sighs> Listen, if you go into a technical match with me, I'll have a tech what This guy had not read the script. He was just like throwing shit out of nowhere and I feel like not to not to to you know put him down, but I felt like I stooped myself to his level tonight a bit and I dropped my level and he raised his and it's just not good enough. Um I'm a perfectionist, you know. I should be stopping guys like that. I, you know, I've seen him hurt a few times and I should have been pulling the trigger. Last year I had Shaman Marais hurt and pulled the trigger fast. So this is just me opening up to you guys and being honest within myself. I can't you can't have some more than that really. Finally. Do you know what the, there was a bit of questionable like ref decisions? Ref's right? terrible, mate. That referee should never ref again. Why did he stand us up? I took him down and he found me and he stood us up. I'm like, what are you doing? Ref's absolutely terrible, whoever he is. I don't ever want him to ref my fight again. Awful. And then, like, it wasn't even a groin shot. I hit his stomach. He, I went to punch him in the stomach and he moved my hand so it went a bit further down. And then, give the guy five minutes when he was knackered. Mm -hmm. Terrible ref, terrible, mate. Don't belong in the cage. And obviously, last from me, um, Hard thing from there, but next one will be in the UK, thank God. So just a message to the other guys back home that you're coming back with another W. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming. PFL is coming. <laughs> That's even right, but yeah, no, I'm happy. Listen, I've been coming over here, here for years, 2019 since I signed. I'm happy to do that back and forward shit. Now, let's guess what they're going to have to. Am I even through? Am I even through? I like, I'm out here fucking talking about London. Like, I don't even know if I'm through. Can anyone confirm it? You're not at the moment. I'm not through. At the moment, now. I think okay. you are, but. We were saying about the head there because you already want to get Scudo, so we think you are. You know. Anyone don't confirm it? No? So, Tony? You're, you got six, and so does Kudo's got six, but you guys are at the top right now. But I'm a fruit. I can't say for certain right now. Well, in fact, I wouldn't have head to head, right? So that's a tie. It won two, he's won one. Yeah, yeah, he won. It depends on. No, but I won against Kudos, so that's the tie. Yeah, yeah. 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 like works up in the playoffs. We'll say, we'll say, we'll see you back over Based there. Based on the 2021 20, rules, you should be through, but I don't know if this is so the same for now or not. Yeah, yeah, Okay, well, I'm currently number one seed, so hopefully it's enough for London. If it's not, then what more can I do? Cheers, buddy. Brendan, you mentioned about the eye in the first round. Was it hard not to panic after that thing that you got two more rounds to think you were the or did you find yourself yourself? Do you want a funny story about the eye? So, I went like that to my corner and he came in and I went, get the Vaseline out of my eye. And he's like, you haven't got no Vaseline in your eye. I said, bro, get it out, I can't see. He put it in my eye and he's like, bro, there's no Vaseline in your eye. It was literally closed and I didn't even know. Was that the end of the first round? Yeah, I was like, bro, I was like, wipe it out. And then he wiped it and it just wasn't beating. So yeah, then I realized and then I fucking just looked at myself. Then on the camera I went, oh my God, did I just fight with that? Like the ref literally said to me, uh, the, the cook guy was like, if this was an amateur fight, I would have stopped it round one. So thank God that he didn't. Thank God for letting me carry on. Listen, I'm a warrior, man. I know people say they'll die in there, but I actually will know that's the thing. Like, you ain't stopping me in there, me. If it was a good little body kick and a few other things, um, but I'll never, ever, ever, ever stop. I broke my hand mid Tyler Diamond fight, carried on, you know, just fucking had one eye for three quarters of the fight. It doesn't matter to me, mate. A million dollars is what matters to me in a world title. Mm -hmm. It did seem like from the second round on, you were uh, trying to range a lot more, you were landing a lot more. Why was that, do you think? Guy's not on my level, mate. It pisses me off that this guy even got the distance with me, honestly. Like, it's like he raised his and I dropped mine and we met in the middle. Like, I hate to disrespect him, I really do, because he's a tough kid and all that, but 
it's the fucking truth, mate. Like, I've got to be better than that, and I'm the most self-critical person on planet Earth. I'm a world-class fighter, mate. I am. I'm world-class. And that guy made it super awkward for me tonight, and it wasn't a clean-cut fight. It was a dirty fight. It was one of them ref stoppage, ref moving us apart, eyes, this and that. But, again, I showed my balls, mate, and I showed how much grit I've got, and I, I'm going to be tough to beat, man. I really am. I just have one for you. Um, in that second round, you landed that big takedown on Ago. Did you feel after that that maybe he was really slowing down with that takedown really wore in his gas tank? He was slowing down. He was slowing down big time. But listen, man, again, this guy took it on five days' notice, man. What a fucking warrior. What a warrior. And come and fought his heart out like that and put on a great performance. And wow, did he feel strong, mate. I don't usually come out of fights and say people feel strong. I always say to my coach, like, yeah, he felt slow. They didn't feel so, but he actually felt strong, mate. Like, he fought three quarters. I think he's had one fight at February before. This is his first fight at February in like five years. Mm. And I could tell the difference, mate. I had him on the fence, and I thought, wow. It was just a different level of strength. Was the strength the biggest surprise to you coming from that? <laughs> this awkward movement, that awkward shit he was doing. Like, I was like, wait, what are you actually doing here? Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was it was a super weird fight. Mate. I don't know. I've got a golden process that one. Thank you, Brendan. Congrats again on the win, man. Um, just want to get your thoughts on uh, being able to be that first fight on the card, um, being able to have the UK fans back home be able to watch. Uh, how much does that mean to you? Yeah, good. But I just wish I'd give them something better to watch. I mean, last year I started with Shaman and Tyler, and everyone was up on me. And now I've had two like whatever fights, man. Do you kind of want to be in whatever fights? No, I don't. PFL are backing me all the way. They're, they're putting all this promotion into me. I need to be blasting people's heads off, me. I really do. He should have had his head blasted off, me. Let's have it right. And like, yeah, back to the drawing board. Semi-finals, London. Good news is there's no injuries apart from this eye, mate. So I won't put a bit of ice on there. There's no long-lasting shit going on. And uh, I'll be fresh for the semis. Hopefully, if I'm fucking in there, I don't know what's going on. In the minute, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, the last question for me. I um, just kind of want you to get your thoughts on uh, just the state of the featherweight division, obviously with guys like uh, Kudo and Ago, uh, top, tough guys from top to bottom. Um, do you feel like the featherweight division is the best in the PFL? 100% the featherweights are the best. I'm just watching the back here. Sorry about that. You're good. Oh, go on, man. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, hang on a minute. This is the first. Oh, beautiful. Oh, maybe it's maybe I'm being a bit hot. Whoa. What well, Brendan, the wrestler now? Listen, by any means necessary, that's what it is. It's a tournament, mate. Yeah, go on, man. Family and friends. Hopefully that's enough to go through. If it's not, it's not. I couldn't have done any more. It was a mad old Boston Salmon. I don't know what happened with him. I ended up with this mad guy last minute. And uh, yeah, what more can you say about that? Congrats. Awesome. And question, how are you going to celebrate this win? Mm. Just down the Budweiser, mate. So I'll probably have to celebrate. Yeah. Probably have a few more. I've heard the strip oh, clubs are pretty good. I'm only winding these up. God, my bird will kill me. Um, but yeah, no. Listen, I'll uh, go back to the drawing board. I get one night off in this tournament. The tournaments are fucking mad, mate. Like you get one night off, literally. Like I'm used to having, you know, two, three weeks chilling, start training again a bit slow, and then, mate, this is full on warrior shit. Like, look what I've just gone through, and I'm back in the gym, wouldn't they, mate? Going again, so, uh, yeah. I just want to give a massive shout out to my coach over there. Been with me from day one. We've been on this road since I was 16 years old, man. Can you imagine how long I've been here? 16 years old to 32. Still here, still getting through these fights. Been by my side the whole way. I love him so much, so thanks, Tom. Pleasure. Well, congratulations on the win. Yep. Um, what would you say you need to work on the most going into the, just the future, whether it's the tournament, whether it's something else. Here, man. Here, bro. Like, that guy was hurt about five times. Why did I not just take him out? That's just something that I need to work on. That's a personal brand a lot name thing. My training camp was brilliant. My mindset was was good going in. Everything was good. All the boxes were ticked. My wake up was good. Uh, I wish I could sit here and give you the answer, but I can't right now. So that's something I've got to go back and soul search for for the semis. Because Kudo, Boston, Sam, I mean, um, um, what's it called, Chris Wade, Bubba Jenkins, tough fights, man, tough fights, man, million dollars in front of us now, I'm fucking two fights away from it, I'm two fights, man, two fights after, what, that's my 35th fight, you're telling me two more and I'm a millionaire, 
fuck that bro. Like, someone have to kill me in there. I just went me running. I can hear Tony from like, where I was sitting shouting like he's hurt, like going from his hurt. Mm. When you're hearing that, obviously you can hear it well. Like, it just doesn't click in your head. Like, can you kind of explain like why? Like, you just can't really have a show in that moment. Um, was it his power, his size, the strength that he felt, or just like your own kind of like in your head? Mm. Again, I wish I had the answer for you. Yeah, I wish I wish I had an answer for you to what was going on in there. Um, but you know, I've just watched a few things back. It didn't look as bad as I actually. But I, I'm always very self-critical of myself without actually watching the fight back. Mm. So I need to watch the full 15 minutes back and then give you an answer. But you always get the raw version, man, straight after the fight, full of adrenaline. This is like the raw version, like, and tomorrow I'll fucking look back at these interviews and say, what an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, I always do it. Like, why did I say that? And I always put myself down until I've actually watched the fight. But again, we got a guy, that guy was nine and one amateur. Yeah, he was eight and four pro, but nine and one at amateur. He was a prospect at one point. I know a guy that used to manage him and he said, listen mate, you're in for a tough fight when his name come across. And I can't wait to text that guy back, the little bastard to do right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congrats mate. Cheers. So you've obviously fought Kudo once before. It had the Daxton flash in it. You know that uh, it looks like you might have an opportunity to face him again and, and get like a, a full a, a full fight in. How do you feel about it? How excited that? are you guys for Brendan Lockney and Ryoji Kudo in London, bro, after that performance he just put in? And listen, man, this guy came in. I beat that guy last fight, yeah, I did. Because at first I was like, oh, did I didn't. I watched it back, I did win that fight, yeah. And now I get to put the right to wrongs if I get to fight him again. And we will see if it's semi finals and me and Kudo. But I just want to give him a massive shout out because he was absolutely fucking brilliant tonight. Because Flores is a great fighter. He was in my change room warming up. What a sharp fighter, man. And to go out and put that on him like that. Again, look, Shaman Marais, I beat him. He's had three stoppages since then. Like, guys aren't giving me enough credit for the wins that I've had, really. And I'm harsh on myself, but I'm fighting world-class guys back to back here. That guy I just thought was not world-class, so that's why I'm harsh on myself. But Kudo has just clearly shown that he is.